championship a chance to write new history a chance to achieve greatness with the football world eagerly watching live coverage coming your way right here on ea tv And so it comes down to this. Welcome to our coverage of the final here at the Euros. My name is Derek Ray, sitting here on the commentary gantry. And with me to provide expert analysis, a complete tactical breakdown, is Stuart Robson. What a match this promises to be. It's Portugal, and they take on Spain. Well, there's going to be some nerves out there for sure, but what an occasion this should be. It's going to be tense, it's going to be tight, but it's also going to be dramatic. It should be a terrific game. Here's how it looks for Portugal. Vitor Ferreira starts alongside Bruno Fernandes in central midfield, and the starting role and attack is handed to Cristiano Ronaldo. Bruno Fernandes has it. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Here's the lineup for Spain. Fabian plays with Rodri in central midfield, and the main striker today is Morata. Pedri. Here's Carvajal. Pedri. Not showing good patience. Fabian, well it did look promising but no threat in the end well the 2016 European champions back in the final no great surprise that Portugal are here we've enjoyed their football over the course of the last few weeks and intriguing to see if they can get over the line on this the biggest occasion of them all and the good thing about Portugal is they do have different game plans if they want to in this game, they can sit deep and soak up pressure and then play on the counter-attack. Or they can be very creative when they get the ball in the top third of the field. I'm not sure which tactics they're going to use for this game, but they are a team to be feared. And I think they've got every chance of winning this tournament. Good technique displayed. And he takes on the shot. He's blocked it. Ruben Dias. And Palinha with it. Still pushing for that goal that would see them forge ahead. The save was a good one. favoured a short one here can he create an angle and let's give credit to the defending Morata Fernandes A very good tackle. Miko Williams. He read the situation defensively and did his job. Nuno Mensch. Palinha. And Palinha with it. Here's Ronaldo. Joao Cancelo Ruben Dias He's very adept at protecting the ball Oh, he's given it away Fabian And we saw the situation developing now, options are plenty. Mm. 
Lenormand. Fabian. Went in strongly, decisively. Lenormand. And given away. Vitor Ferreira. Bruno Fernandes has it. Physically strong and secure on the ball. Not the pass he had in mind. Advantage played. Lenormand. Here's Carvajal. Fabian. Kukureya. The switch of play now. For attacking possibilities. Well, it's a textbook example of dynamic passing. Oh, a vital interception. Bernardo Silva. And Fabian. A fine use of the ball. Fabian. And there it breaks down, but credit to the defence. Minch. Rafael Leao. Bruno Fernandes has it. What to like about that pass? Took a really smart piece of defending to stop them. Kukureya. The ball with Rodri. Lenormand. Wasteful from Spain. And back to Costa. And so it is, the first half story has been written. So back underway and an intriguing second half in prospect. Well timed tackle. Palinha. It's a promising move from Portugal. Joao Cancelo. And he stopped them in their tracks. Miko Williams. Morata. Pulls it back. Rodri. from the keeper fantastic stop short corner it is Bernardo Silva Joao Cancelo now with Silva and since they have the ball the referee playing advantage here 
and the upshot of that is offside. Well, he needed to look elsewhere because the flag was always going to go up. Kukureya. Rodri. And that is going to be a free kick. Well, now he's walking on eggshells, you might say. Next time it'll be yellow. Nico Williams and Spain struggling to keep the ball Bernardo Silva Fernandes and he's broken free oh there's the goal there's the opener how about that Well, here we can see just how good this goal is. It has everything. Skill, pace and power. There was no stopping him there. Well, all eyes are on the manager. What's he going to do to turn this around? So the match has restarted, 1-0 here. Fabian. Nuno Mendes. And defending as a unit. And Portugal moving the ball with purpose. Leal. Got a crucial intervention inside the box. Keeping possession of the ball with authority. Really good build up, but no end product. Ruben Dias and Palinha with it. Bruno Fernandes has it. Now the good tackle. Fabian Kukureya the ball with Rodri Pedri and take it away Bernardo Silva. Bruno Fernandes. And he's made headway. Now they have possession in a good area of the pitch. And a fine stop. Both managers deciding this is the time to change things around. Both teams going to the bench. Trying to deliver it accurately. Could still be dangerous. And there it is! A two-goal cushion now. And just look at these fans. The trophy coming their way, surely. Well, here it is again. He hits this so sweetly, doesn't he? 
That's a brilliant goal from a top-class player. So 2 0 now. Now we're inside the final 15 minutes. Fabian. Lenormand. The ball with Rodri. Ferran Torres. Possession and patience, the watchwords. Well, he's certainly not alone. Pedri, Morata, and the flag is up, offside. Well, that's just a lack of awareness. He was clearly in an offside position. Just ten minutes to go. Palinha. And the timing was perfect. Ball one. Pedri. And back with Carvajal. Morata. On to Carvajal. Can he get one back? A tremendous block. Well, Portugal might be onto something. And let's give credit to the defending. Can they do something positive on the counter attack? Portugal being afforded too much space here. They are. Palinha. Superb defensive judgment to end the attack. Oyar Sabal. Palinha. The referee's verdict is three additional minutes. Torres Lenormand It's with Laporte Rodri And there goes the final whistle Portugal have won the Euros on this dramatic night here in Berlin The joy to see also the disappointment but ultimately the feeling of togetherness well I have to say they've been brilliant throughout the tournament they were great today as well they are the deserving champions no doubt about that and these are very special scenes that we're witnessing and now with the pressure off a chance to reflect, a chance to celebrate, the trophy about to be presented. The European champions, Portugal! What a great moment for these players, absolutely brilliant. doesn't get any better than this does it a chance now to celebrate with their own fans and the fans have also played their part 
Just listen to the noise here. Great end to this tournament.